Okay, today we're going to be looking at the graph of y, the modulus of um, f of x when f of x is a linear function. So let's look at the most simple um, linear function we can get. Let's consider y is the modulus of x. So the first thing we do is draw y equals x. So that would be the same as just drawing y equals whatever the function is f of x in a more general sense. So let's get our x and y axis. <clears throat> so if we had just um, y equals x, it would be this. This is y equals x. Um, then what we do is we reflect in the x-axis. So this is the part of the line that's below, this is your x-axis, y-axis. So the part of the line that is below the um, x-axis. Now I'll change the colour. Um, so we would this part here, we're going to reflect up here. So we take this up to here. So I'll draw it. So what the modulus of x looks like is going to be this. Um, let's look at something a bit more complicated. But the principle is the same. So we're going to sketch y equals one um, a half of x minus one, the modulus of uh, half x minus one. And we want to show the points, the graph meets the axes. And we're going to use the graph to express a half x minus 1, the modulus of this, in an alternative form. And I'll exp when we want to come to that part, we'll explain what this alternative form actually means. So, the first thing is, we're going to sketch y equals a half x minus 1. So let's think about this. So when y equals 0, a half x is going to equal 1. So x must equal two. So at x equals two, it's going to cross the x-axis. So this is two here. Now what happens when x is zero? When x equals zero, y is going to equal minus one. So it's going to be down here, minus one. So what we've got here is a straight line. Um, that comes that, that cuts the x-axis at 2 and the y-axis at minus 2. So now we're going to reflect in the x-axis. And we can see from this, this equation that the, the gradient's a half. So we're reflecting in the x-axis, so up here, so it's going to be up here is going to be our y is the, the modulus of oops a half x minus one and so this must be one. Now we can see from the graph a half x minus one the modulus can equal 
So if x is 2 or, a, or greater than the same as 2, it's just equal to half x minus 1 if x is greater than or the same as 2. But if x is less than 2, oops, less than 2, it comes up here, but it's, it's, so it's going to be, you take the value of what it would have been if it was just um, y is a half x minus 1, and you find it's negative, so two negatives will be a positive. So this is the alternate form that we want to write in. Now, we can use um, we can use the, the 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 graphing method to actually solve these equations. So before last time last lesson we looked at what two x minus one, the modulus of that equal to three, and we can and we found. Um, there were two roots at x equals minus one and x equals two when we solve this when we solve this equation. Now let's consider this um, graphically. So we've got x, we've got y. If we were to just sketch this part we would get, so it crosses the x-axis at, um, this is going to be a half, and it goes um, up like that, and, oh dear, let's draw that again, it's not very neat, up like that, and it crosses the y axis here at 1. Now, so this is y equals 2x minus 1. And then if we draw y equals 3 along here, so this is 3, um, we'll do this in a different colour. It's a straight line for y equals 3. So here is 2 and here is minus 1. So you see this is a solution to this. We also did before the modulus of x minus 4 equal to 2x plus 1. And we found x equals 1 was the root. So let's consider this graphically. So if we were to sketch x minus 4, the modulus, just using the same print, the same um, method as previously, it's going to cut the x-axis at 4 and then we're going to reflect it up here. So you've got y equals x minus 4, the modulus of that. Then we're going to think what is x plus 1. So this is not the modulus, so we're just going to draw this here. So that would cut the y-axis at 1, the x-axis at um, minus a half. And then you'll get a straight line going right up here and they meet at 1. Oh, x equals 1. Draw that a bit better. So this is um, x equals 1 where the, the, these two lines, um, this is y equals 2x plus 1. So you can see that this method is, um, is useful for for solving these equations as well as just getting a, a, being able to see what's actually going on. Okay, so I hope that helps.